गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो वी हैव डन कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ यूरिन नाउ रेगुलेशन ऑफ यूरिन आउटपुट पिट्यूट्री ग्लैंड एंड डायूरेस सो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ यूरिन बाई वाटर री एब्जॉर्बन इज कंट्रोल्ड बाई एंटी डायरेटिक हॉर्मोन दैट इज ए डी एच सिक्रेटेड बाई पोस्टीरियर लोब ऑफ पिट्यूटरी आई टोल्ड यू अर्ले इफ ए डी एच सिक्रेशन इज रिड्यूज फ्रॉम पोस्टीरियर पिट्यूटरी देर इज इंक्रीज प्रोडक्शन ऑफ यूरिन एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड डायूरेस substances that increase the formation of urine are called diuretics like liquid diets tea coffee alcohol they help in formation of more urine then gout and kidney stones uric acid is relatively less soluble in water and may crystallize and deposit it in the joints causing gout that is painful swelling occurs in the joints excessive uric acid and certain salts like calcium oxalate may be the source of kidney stone and when kidneys are not working fully normally then it happens progress check is there uh, first one is true second false third statement true fourth true fifth false and last one is also true so second one we will correct by Uh, replacing wbcs by plasma solutes and uh, uh, fifth one we will correct by making deoxygenated renal vein blood flowing through the renal vein is deoxygenated and normally does not contain nitrogenous waste so now come to 119 page that is osmoregulation kidney while removing waste like urea from the blood also regulates its composition that is percentage of water and salts and this function is called as osmoregulation it implies the regulation of osmotic pressure of blood so what are balance in the human body how do we do we lose in the form of urine sweat by in breath by lungs and in fecal matter this is the uh, in milliliter wise they have given how much we lose and how do we gain in drink in food and through metabolic water that is product of cellular respiration we gain this much so total outcome is this so intake and output of water slightly vary according to climate and lifestyle drinking enough water directly or through food helps the kidneys in their proper functioning and in tropical climates as in our country we drink a lot of water during summer yet we urinate fewer times this is again give reason question than in winter and urine passed is generally thicker why because we are sweating a lot that time so some water is lost through sweat the reason is that in summer we lose a considerable part of water through perspiration and the kidneys have to reabsorb more water from the urine making it more concentrated because ultimately they have to regulate osmotic pressure of blood osmoregulation is also a important function of kidney and that is osmotic pressure of blood means its constitution should not change blood should be always with uh, little change in its composition so that is done by kidney in cholera the patient suffers from vomiting and watery bowels his intestine are unable to absorb water into the blood and the result is that his kidneys reabsorb almost all water from the urine in the renal tubules and with it even urea and that is harmful ultimately patient may die due to poisoning by accumulation of high quantities of urea in his body because kidneys are doing their function of maintaining osmotic pressure of blood so they will absorb everything from uh, urine outgoing urine because patient has already lost water through vomiting and watery bowels so water is less that's why uh, patient may die due to poisoning by accumulation of high quantities of urea in his body so immediate treatment is to replenish water that's why that ors solution is uh, administered so treatment is to replenish water and blood by glucosylin drip or by giving oral rehydration solution through mouth that may save the life then artificial kidney if one kidney is damaged or removed for some reason the other kidney alone is sufficient for excretory needs and the person can lead a normal life but failure of both the kidneys would lead to death So artificial kidney is a dialysis dialysis machine. We also call that dialyzer. The patient's blood is led from radial artery in his arm through the machine, where blood, urea, and excess salts are removed, and purified blood is returned to a vein in the same arm. 
so through radial artery it is taken out and through vein in the same arm it is uh, injected again in case of permanent damage to kidney dialysis is to be repeated for about 12 hours twice a week then they have given summary of excretion in human that carbon dioxide is excreted through lungs as a gas in expired air mineral salts nitrogen waste produced especially urea creatinine and uric acid so they are expelled through kidneys as constituent of urine or through skin as constituent of sweat through sweat con as the uh, sweat contains only small quantity of nitrogenous waste but it still had then water is expelled through kidneys skin and lungs excess water excreted out as main constituent of skin water lost as main constituent of sweat and lungs as water vapor then bile pigments from hemoglobin breakdown that those bile pigments are bilirubin and bilirubin liver the breakdown of uh, rbcs takes place and through intestine via bile juices poured into the duodenum they are expelled out with fecal matter so this way we have completed the chapter and uh, children you are requested to uh, go through these resume of the chapters also for all the chapters because this is the summary some important points are given even here while revising for exam you should go through these even and uh, as i am advising you always that you go through the exercises part that i will send you some other day before that also one thing is there that as madam has started a nervous system there i will also se start sending you nervous system videos after this so exercises i will send later in between or along with the nervous system videos only okay that's all for today thank you have a good day